Gibbo presents. It's Gibbo, and right now I'm joined by Bobby Chin, the CEO of Black Chinese, who on April the 4th will be facing off against jugglers at Warren East 2015 in Berlin, Germany. Bobby, how are you? Good, good. Can't complain. I mean, the beautiful country of Belize, you know, where I have a house and things, I would just chill. Before we get into the specifics of Warner East, I want to ask you, before you accepted this booking, how often were promoters approaching you with offers to clash? Um, well, Chin approached a couple of times to work clash and, you know, the negotiations never did really come true because you know, Black Chinese are established so and I just want some established money. So, <laughs> so you know, it never really come true still, but we reach a point now where, you know, we have certain things, so we can do anything we want to do right now. So if world clash, war in the East, UK, Cup, anything, we don't know. We're ready for anybody and anything. So why Warner East? Was it just that Spider and Sultan had the biggest checkbook? Uh, them and the poor still in but I work with them because they're on a payment plan. And every month I swipe them credit card. So everything is good. But we just do it because, I mean, we reach a point give away how far the black China can get. You understand? So why not just entertain the business? And clash business need that. It need that difference right now where, you know, the traditional clash kind of a bit boring. So we have to add that different element to it. You know, the chin try to change it up. If you notice for the last couple of world clash and it's it working good for put two little different sound in it and whatever. You understand? Mm. When you were asked if you would like to take part in the clash, did you have to consider the offer and speak to the rest of the team or did you just accept it straight away? Well, we, we, we talk to everybody still and, and some people never agree with it, like why we need to do it, but you know, I mean, it makes sense. It, ma it makes sense because Jugglers is, is probably the, the, one of the best songs right now. I won't say the best, but one of the, you know, because we and them play all the time, we are good friends. Whenever we and them play, we just mash up the place. You understand? So why not? Why not do it? Why not add something different to the to the sound clash business? What may I tell every sound still after this? May I go after everybody because I do have nothing to lose. So anything is anything. Why was some of the team against taking part in this clash? Because they know that these things cost money and nobody don't want to spend money in these times. You understand? So. Yeah, clash do cost money, you know, and I don't know what other songs play for, but usually with the money that they get, just end up cutting dubs. You understand? Remember, I sound like Bass Alice and, and Addies and, and those big traditional songs don't need to cut my dub plate because they have the belly. You understand? So once you reach to a certain level, you need money for, for cut dub. Yeah. Did you know who your opponents were going to be and that it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one clash right from the get-go when you were first approached with the offer? Um, well, there was a couple of people mentioned, mentioned and I never knew it was going to be a one-on-one. -on -one, but to me, the one-on-one -on -one can be very exciting because the, the rules and the timelines and stuff is not no long thing, you understand? So it's going to be a good clash and a different type of clash. When did the preparations begin? Was it as soon as you accepted the offer? Preparations begin before the offer. Just remember this. Any sound when me play with, I always have five tune number just cut and put on in case a man feel like them one flip up. Even if I play against Gibber right now, I have no play at this Gibber. You understand? If I play against Willie Chin right now, I have tune a kill Willie Chin. Believe it or not. We always have four or five tune just put on just in case. I will put you my cut for jugglers. Long time ago, I will not play them. We we'll just cut them just in case a man say a wrong word or a wrong thing, you understand? You mentioned you've known jugglers for a while. You've played alongside them many times before. Can you remember when you, you first met them? 
Um, well, remember it's Walshie and Willie usually go Europe most, most. I'm usually on the Caribbean side and, 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 and Japan and China and places like that I play and, you know. Um, so they became good friends with Walshie because, you know, Heavy Hammer does our bookings in Europe. And them always at uh, Mama Nera and stuff like that. From Sentinel days, you know them. You understand? So, you know, we and them is good friends. It's good, good people. Really, really good people. But sometimes good people are for those fall too, you know. So. Have you identified any weaknesses in their game which you plan to exploit on April the 4th? Yeah, one shot and one tall. So if you notice when when them are playing shot up all in face right in a mesca wrong part of body. Cause one shot and one tall, so <laughs> you don't know how that gonna work. No, them not them them listen. Every sound can never be underestimated, no matter how big or small it is. Cause at any day look at these. If I was playing King of these, I, do, I think I could have killed Jesus. You understand? But that don't mean that because you have more dubs than a sound, you will win on that given night. You understand? It depends on, on, on the crowd and how you deal with everything. But um, weakness, honestly, them, them weakness is belly. Because there are two year old sounds. So. You know, you can you can try to make up. Like me hear them do something against Jaro, which which I would have never do, but it worked for them because me not this no foundation artist. I say, well then, you know, because you don't have it. Not because I don't have garnet silk, I'm going to say, well then, you know, garnet silk them is not this or not that. And that is the only weakness them have. Them do have a, a, a belly. Like certain tune them not really have and them can't get because them artists are dead. So, if a cartel I'm going to play, you know me and cartel a friend, right? So, every cartel with them have get counter card, sorry. What did you make of their exploits in Jamaica last year? You mentioned the situation there with Kilimanjaro, obviously, of course, the other occurrence with Mataron. Were you impressed with how they handled themselves out there? Yeah, man, they handle themselves very, very well. You understand? Um, you can't really base that on, 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 on anything still because that is like a five minute, you know, type of thing where surprise. I mean, me used to do that back in the days when me never have tune. You know what I mean? We just friend up a sound and play with them all night. And when we know so them can't come back in, we just throw two words quick. You understand and get over that little victory for five minutes and you know yeah that used to work yes but them them all themselves but remember shut up all is not shut up all is a very experienced my person and mesca mesca is, is very 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 talented enough people give shut up all all of the, the glory because he is the man that go there and talk about mesca is a bad bad selector you can we play with him several times back and forth we go you understand juggling and him, him bad it reminds me of Mark. You remember Mark from Base and the same type of, you know, he can turn on the clash way and he can juggle. What approach do you think they will take? How will they try and kill Black Chinese? Oh, them know, them know all about Black China. <laughs> them know all about Black China. Them know, and you know, as I said, them know all about we, but we don't really know what them have. You understand? So we just, it, it, it's going to be very interesting because we don't intend to lose, but at the same time, we can't guarantee you that we kill them. You understand? So, I don't know. We'll see. Do you consider yourself the favourites? Do you think people expect you to win this clash? Some people, yes, based on the fact, as I tell you, them say, them, you know, them now on a belly or whatever, but they can't. I mean, I'm going into a country where I don't have a brother, a sister, or you know, if it was Belize or Jamaica or Miami, you no, know, especially Belize, it was Belize before the clash even start, people knock them out with frying pan or anything. You understand? 
but them in a freedom hometown, freedom country and whatever, but remember this, Gibo, you're never a hero in your own town. So people love for cheer for the outside crowd. So we just hope that everybody keep it, you know, keep it real uh, and just know that, you know, music and, and whatever. But we we'll have some special things that then I don't know, like I think after we play this clash, people gonna look at, at clash business differently. Because we went point, I mean, every clash I go, I point, point out things in you know, like, you know, maybe we'll just put up a, a big screen too and point out certain things. And probably we'll just make a remix live in the dance that, you know, we always want to do that. Make the people them choose a rhythm, choose a cappella, and we'll just make it live in the dance. Something different. It's not as if you're unfamiliar with Germany either. You juggle there on a regular basis, even though you haven't been there to clash before. Look, Germany is one of the best places in the world. Best places in the world in terms of music because remember, it's Walcher and Willy who saw Germany. And, and black, black, enough people don't know this. Black China have a whole heap tune. Well, we don't really play in Miami because every time we go and dance, it's like three o'clock. And when we come in, it's just time for bashment. I want to have certain things we, we, we want to play, we can't play because at the time frame. But when I went to Germany first, I'm a listener, let's listen Sentinel. Play one hour worth of one job, double it, and the whole place a mash up. And I said, no, this is a different part of the world of me love. Because we have the dub them like that, but we can't play them which part we play. You understand? So, Germany appreciate music. And I hope them appreciate the killing to a garden. Are you going to be travelling in numbers for this clash? Will the full crew be out in Berlin? Well, we'll, we'll travel with a couple of people, yes. Because um, the day after I have to leave, I'll go somewhere and come back. But, um, would I like to carry my girl still, in case I lose? So she can hug me up and cry with me. <laughs> well, I think that way they still. Yeah, that's the. Lastly, before I let you go, Bobby, have you got a message for jugglers ahead of the clash? Um, <laughs> uh, the message is the message is a song. This is not a special, this is a classic. A classic, a song that lasts alongside Johnny Asburn. They call me Sammy Triglas. Alongside a man called Johnny Asburn. And the big sound, the song called the Black Chinese. This is Black the message Chinese. give up. And a man called Bobby Chin, no watch no face, Willie Chin. And a man called Super Dubs. And big up while she kill her scene, big up special care. And a man called English E, and a man called Bandan. Big up all that Germany. Sammy Dre laughs at that. Lord of Mercy. Lord of Mercy. Lord of Mercy. Oh gosh. Bad boy fire M16. Police man a fire AK 47. But black Chinese. I shoot them with the shining star. Black Chinese kill another idiot boy tonight. Sample, 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 sample. <laughs> War in the East. 2015 expose the heartless black chinese versus jugglers april the 4th at yam in berlin germany courtesy of herbalize it and superlock bobby best of luck and yep. thanks a lot yo big up every sound out there and big up everybody that keeping this industry alive especially you you understand because we need that in other business because a promoter will pay up pay security before everything about sound now these days some business need to stay alive you understand because we play the songs to make the artists get more popular big up every artist big up every sound big up jugglers and we look forward to the clash give up big up yourself all right respect give up give up give up give up